Hey there, it's Michelle F. Logal with your market update. I feel like this is like a little news program for real estate, uh, just a little newscast. Um, so anyway, let's just jump right into the inventory snapshot and then I'm going to give you some comments about what we think is going to happen in the next two years. I've been listening to a lot of um, um, market gurus about where we're going to go. Um, new listings here in Santa Cruz County is uh, 43, we're up 5, 43, really, 43, 43 houses, um, 11 price reductions, that's down from, that was uh, down 12, so that's not very many, pending and contingent, 54, so we have 43 new listings and we have 54 pending, uh, yeah, still this is just, I have a transaction fell through eight, that's big, for one week, that's big. Um, that just shows a little uncertainty. And we are in an election period, so we're, we're going to see that. We're definitely going to see some uncertainty right now. Um, you're going to see people that are really, they're just nervous. Um, sold is 50, down 7. And um, active inventory, 206. I think I did a video a couple weeks ago. It was 201 or 202. So um, even though it's up 15 from last week, still real no um, big jump in inventory. Anyway, I wanted to give you a bit of an update on where some people who are watching the market think it's going to go. In 2021, they expect the market to be really good and still very active, but prices are going to go up more. And I know that's always disappointing to hear. People like to think, oh, we're going to have a bubble or we're going to have a foreclosure, um, you know, for people who are in forbearance because they're not paying their mortgages because of COVID. It's just not going to happen. And the reason for that is we don't have enough inventory to allow um, these other houses to come on the market uh, for, you know, for any foreclosure that comes in right now gets bought by an investor group. We won't have these big um, blocks of houses like we did before, um, mainly because people have equity in their home and the banks they would rather see if they could work it out to they so they get paid on the back end. So what they're going to do is they're going to come in and they're going to go, "Hey, look, you got equity. So uh, how about we just uh, put your put your property in forbearance?" Meaning they're going to stick that payment due at the very end, and then they're going to kind of eat into that equity, and that way they don't have to go through the pain of foreclosure, which is very expensive for a bank to do. People like to think banks like to foreclose, but they actually really don't. It's actually a very expensive process, and partly, um, especially now, is because of all the laws. So legally, it's it's a huge nightmare for them, and they're, they're really not interested, but they're interested in getting that equity. So uh, that's why we're not going to see a lot of foreclosures, but also uh, we just... Um, we see people actually being able to make their mortgages somehow. So, um, yeah. Um, the other reason prices are going to go up, so you're not going to get a big chunk of inventory. and That's not happening. The other reason prices are going to go up still is because people aren't moving. And um, there was a saying about five years that was very popular because we knew we had an older um, uh, a older segment of the market that, that would be our boomers or baby boomers. Um, we, we actually started having a conversation with them about aging in place, like um, making your home work for you so you, could, so you could stay and you didn't have to move. And that's actually worked. Um, unless they have big, huge houses that they can't maintain, a lot of older folks, they're just hanging in. They don't really need to, they don't, they don't, they don't need to go anywhere. They don't want to downsize. So you have, you have that group there. Um, so they're hanging onto their house. So that, 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 um, that downsized buyer is not downsizing. Um, you have, um, also w within this, you have to keep, keep in mind that with these low interest rates, people won't move. So for all these people that are gathering these uh, very low interest rates and refinancing means they're going to stay in their home because that's a great rate. Where else are they going to get that? And um, let's face it, property taxes are ugly when you buy a new house. So you have uh, a low interest rate. You have the promise of a new tax rate if you move. It's really going to just keep people in their homes. So... Boy, I talked a long time. I'm sorry about that.
Anyway, bottom line is 2021 is still going to be a high priced year. 2022, they see a little bit of a slowdown just because that exuberance of the market is going to kind of go down. Interest rates will probably go back up. But uh, bottom line is people are staying in place and that keeps the inventory tight and it keeps the prices up. Michelle Rep Logal, your partner in real estate, always good to talk with you, at you. And of course, I'd love to hear from you. Call me, text me, or email me. Bye.